Okay. All right, welcome back, everyone. So this is a classical geo problem. I'm told this is from Taiwan's 2024 National Olympiad. Um, oh, it's John Bin. So um, this problem is based on a triangle. And then it has some points on it. Um, so here's a point, here's a point. Shoot, that's, that's not on the line. And then D to F to match the problem statement. And then P is a point that is on the perpendicular bisectors of uh, B, F, and C. So. Here's P, and O is the center of the circumcircle, so let's draw that in. And then OP intersects CA and AB at points Q and R. Um, so Q is intersect line PO, line CA. R will intersect line PO, line AAB. So there's PQR. Okay, and then you take a line through what? Um, what? Okay. So take a line through P perpendicular to EF, um, intersect and I'm going to intersect this against the opposite sides as well. Um, so that one is apparently called S and T is intersect line PS versus line BA. And you want to show that, okay, like the problem says show that they're concyclic, but um, like QRST are all intersections. So I feel like really it's like show two angles, like the angle between, like QRST you can actually just delete all four of them. It's show that the angle between um, oh, f I, as soon as I delete the points, I need them to actually draw the angles in the picture. But like, you, you have four lines and you want to show they form the vertices of a cyclic quad. So one formulation that would work is like A, R, Q. This angle ought to be equal to um, P, S, Q, I guess. And if I write it this way, I think I can just delete all of Q, R, S, T. Like show that angle from show, show that some angles are equal okay and ironically I don't know how much GeoGebra is gonna help me if I want to write stuff um, but it's like I want to show so this line through P that's perpendicular to EF is well I mean it's perpendicular to EF so we actually it's like E, F, A, B, A, C, and then um, P, O are the lines in play. Like, I want to show that... What? Wait, this is so confusing. What? Like, I, I, unfortunately, GeoGebra is not very good at supporting text, um, which is actually what I want right now. So what I want is the angle from line EF against line, let's, let's say AC, and like 90 degrees plus this, to equal the directed angle. Okay, let me make sure I'm getting this right. AB against... P-O. So the claim is this, right? Like, th this is actually what I want. Um, so, like, EF and P, whatever, are rotations. So it's like, this angle, this angle should be equal to AB, P-O.
So this is what I want. If I bolt this, does it? Yeah. So this is what I want to show. Um, and... I feel surprised that this statement is... true. But... Here's an idea, actually. So, rather than think of it as pick E and F, I feel like I can almost just say, like, let... Um... Well, let P be a random point, all right? And then you can compute M because... Oh, okay, I, I think I see an approach. So if I have a point P, um, I can define the foot from P to line AC. And similarly for the other one. And then E and F are the reflections. So what this means is that I think you can just use complex. Uh, where... Yeah, there's there's no way this won't work, because it's so clean. Um... Yeah, it's just, it's just gonna work. Yeah, com complex will literally... It's gonna be beautiful, alright? Well, well, let me show you all. Uh, I... I will... You know, I'm so confident in this, I will just write it up directly. Um... I believe in my ability to, um, what's the problem number for this? Does anyone happen to know? Okay, so the first thing that we did before that we erased everything is that, um... Alright, I guess I'll have to put the points QRST back for the, um... For the write-up, but we are not really going to use them. So, uh, yeah, what I said was like QST is directed angle. Uh, PST, AC, which is equal to directed angle. QST, QRT. AB. So we can erase all the points PQR, uh, QRST from the picture and focus just on proving the following claim, directed angle AB, OP is equal to direct angle EF, AC, plus 90 degrees. Use complex numbers, uh, let P be any point. Then the foot from P to chord AC has coordinates uh, M colon equals. Um, all right, let's. I should remember this formula because this formula is very important. And so the point E has coordinates. M is the midpoint of ECE. We get E equals two times M minus P, or minus C. So this point is literally P plus A minus AC P bar. Analogously, F is equal to P plus B minus P plus A minus AB P bar. So then E minus F. So what were things I wanted to compute? E minus F over A minus C divided by A minus B over P minus zero is equal to whatever the heck it is. Um,
Wait, oh, the people say literally just cancels. Wow, this is even better than I thought it would be. Uh, E minus F. So, E, B minus C, 1 minus A, P bar, divided by A minus B, A minus C, times P. Because this is self-imaginary. No, something's wrong. Um... Did I miscompute something? Um, yeah, I agree linear stuff should work, but I don't know. Like, it's so- the complex is so clean that I would rather not touch the moving points stuff, because I- Moving points is how you lose- uh, Moving points is how you lose all your points, okay? <laughs> like, it's- I, I don't trust myself with it. Maybe you guys are better than me at it, but I'm just like- I'm staying away from that. Um... Yeah, however, why is this not obviously... Did I make a calculation error? Oh, um... No, wait, why do I need to normalize things? Uh, like, I, it, it, like, if I want... Pure imaginary is the 90 degree condition, right? Hi, what's going on? Um, we're currently doing a national Olympiad problem from Taiwan. Here's the problem statement, um, and welcome to the stream. Uh, that's a division sign. Yeah, yeah, it's a division sign. Um, what? No, come, like, no, this, I can't have messed up a computation this shirt. Are you kidding me? Am I that old? Ugh, PAC, What? What did I mess up? This should work. Does it work? No, it, it has to be symmet- it has to have a symmetry, right? Like... Oh, sorry, there's no one. I don't I don't know what I'm talking about. Um literally I can't subtract freaking three things where two of them freaking cancel. Shiva. Um yeah, it's literally a PP bar. Okay. <laughs> literally can Oh my god, that's embarrassing. Uh it's literally like how subtract this thing from this thing and I got it wrong. I like I don't know. Like the people say it literally cancels. <sighs> Anyways. Okay. Pure imaginary. We're done. <laughs> no, it, it's fine. I literally just failed at subtraction. Like, um, like I literally could not subtract this three-term quantity from this three-term quantity correctly. That, that's how old I am. All right. Um, why is this pure imaginary? Well. Uh, I mean, you take the conjugate, right? And you you get the same thing back. Right, so the PP bar is invariant because it's the absolute value of P squared. And this um, chunk, you know, if you... I mean, I'll, I'll write out what the conjugate is, I guess. Like, yo, it's P bar bar pp and then this is uh, 1 minus b over 1 minus c and then the bottom thing is oh sorry a minus c right and then these th these fractions just equal to
Yeah, and then this will work. That, that's it. I was... Yeah. I, I'm so sad I cannot subtract three terms from three terms correctly. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, yeah, so that's how the complex goes. And I, I you know, if you want to... Oh, they didn't? Huh, they didn't tell me what the problem number was on the AOPS post. Uh. Four. Problem four. Although it's a five problem contest, so. Ah, uh, yeah, let me let me put the diagram into the problem. Fick. So da -da -da. It's a five. I don't know. I'm just looking at the contest section where this came from. Where the source of this is listed as um, Taiwan Math Olympiad. Um, I don't. I'm assuming that's the National Olympiad. Maybe it's not. I, I don't really know. I, I, I can ask because I know. I recognize that author name. Um, but yeah, it's. That's it. But yeah, I think the point is that like you look at the points you want to be cyclic and you're like, it's literally an angle condition about the underlying lines, like QRST don't matter at all. You just immediately erase all four. Um, and then it's fine. It's probably, yeah, I think it's the same as this solution, but... How come this expression is so much more complicated? Oh, well, no, it doesn't matter. All right, um, so that's that. And those of you on YouTube, thank you for tuning in. And we'll catch you all next time.